Hello. Welcome to the Tea Party Hardy channel. You ever wonder why everybody hates Donald Trump? It's probably not what you think. I'm going to list the reasons the Dems hate him, and then I'm going to list the reason the Republicans hate him. And, yeah, I don't think it's what you think it is, but let's find out. All right, why do the Dems hate him? The Dems hate him because they can't beat him. Oh, but he lost in 2020. We'll see. Time has a funny way of unfolding things, and as Obama loves to say, the arc of history always bends towards the righteous. Okay, here comes 2024 looking right at you. And the Dems call him a clown, and there used to be this toy that was a clown that if you punched it, and you were supposed to punch it, that was actually the, the object of owning the toy, as you punched this balloon clown, it would fall down and then come right back up, no matter how many times you hit it. To be sure, if you hit it hard enough, you would pop the sucker, and every kid eventually found that and goes, wow, that was a really cool toy, until I popped it. Well, they haven't popped Donald Trump yet, though they have tried so many times. So they hit him, and he keeps coming back up. And they've thrown every lie you can imagine at him, from Russia, 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 to... I don't even want to spend all that time on it. There's more important things to get into in this video than what you already know or is available online with a, a flick of the finger and a quick speed of light. Okay, so that's why the Dems don't like him, because they can't defeat him. Why do the Republicans hate him? Oh, oh, the Republicans really hate him. Now, I need to be clear here. When I say the Republicans hate him, I do mean the elected officials. The reason the Republicans hate him is because, once again, he gets hit, and he keeps coming back up. And like a talking toy, when he comes back up, he says, Make America great again! Make America great again! And what most Republicans figure out when they get to Washington, D.C. is, No, no, no. You're not there to make America great again, currently, or ever. You're there simply as a human speed bump to slow down the speed of the Democrats' agenda. You are not there, so they're told and so they act out, to reverse it. And Donald Trump reversed the Democrats' action. He built the wall that they all signed on to. No, they didn't all sign on to it. Don't say all. Fine. Most signed on to back in 2007. But then they magically turned it into a virtual wall, which virtually kept nobody freaking out. He also promised to cut taxes. He cut taxes. He kept more promises than any president in history, to which really irked the Democrats, too. They really hated that. They're like, hey, you're not really supposed to keep your promises to the people. They'll get used to that and think that we're supposed to do it, too. And then, of course, the other thing, and if you don't believe me, then why is Biden saying $1,400 checks are going to be sent out when he said, if you send those two candidates from Georgia up, it'll be $2,000? Mm, interesting. Not really Dems lie. And the Republicans really in D.C. love playing speed bump. And that's why the Republicans hate Donald Trump. Now, the American people, on the other hand, some of them are very upset with what happened on January 6th. And some people should be upset. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I have two pieces of information that are incongruent. And one is I've seen people being let in and staying in the stanchions and taking pictures, and you can't tell they're not tourists. I really don't have a problem with those people because I'm. there's a decent chance that some of those people didn't know they weren't supposed to be in there because they were, after all, being let in. So they're like, well, I guess it must be okay. And then there's the other side that doesn't get as much of the footage shown, which I find curious because why wouldn't it? Anyways, on the other side apparently is the guy who threw the fire hydrant and it bopped off a couple of cops' head, killing one. I... I think the person that did that needs to be treated like everyone in Black Lives Matter who did similar things needs to be treated. Sadly, neither of those things are going to happen because that's just not the way this country's going. But I am not okay with what he did at all and I get very, very upset even thinking about it. I've also been told that 
because again, the footage isn't being shown, of the people on the other side that went in. Uh, I don't care that they screwed up the offices. Yes, they need to get in trouble. Yes, they need to have their booty spanked. And they need to know that is not a good thing to do. But they didn't burn anything and they didn't tear down any statues. And those people walked, people. Let's not confuse ourselves. Justice has two scales. And the reason it has two scales is to say, what about? Now, the Democrats hate what about because what about equals justice. And they're like, no, 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 we don't do justice. That's why we add all those prefixes. Thank you very much. Oh, economic justice and social justice. But actual justice? No, no, no. We don't do that. So, yeah, the bad guys don't like that. But we in America also have seen and have lived under the reality that Republicans really don't have spines and never get done what they promised if they even try or start. And that is not true of Donald Trump. So Donald Trump ain't going nowhere. Now, Donald Trump is no young, young spring chicken. He's still a spring chicken. He's just not a young one. That dude's still got mucho spring. So it would be nice to find somebody else, a verve, who could do it who's younger. And maybe we will. Don't know. But the comparison to Churchill is very real. Churchill won World War II, and the Brits threw him out. Just like that. And... They complained that they didn't like the way that Churchill acted and spoke, even though, oh my God, was he funny. But he was, he was naughty funny, there's, there's no denying it. But they want from Churchill and they want from Trump the results, but not the personality that creates the results. It's not a coincidence nor accident why Churchill was able to do what Churchill was able to do and right back at Trump for the exact same reasons. And to the contrary, it's why Biden won't be able to do anything because he's never been able to do anything. He was a goofball plagiarist his whole life. Now he's a goofball senile old man about to become president. And if you watch my last video, wink, wink, wink for a couple of minutes before he hands it over to Kamala. And yeah, so it's not going to happen. He is, he is by far our weakest president going in. We've had lots of presidents in America that were really weak and turned out to suck. But we didn't know it putting them in. This guy we knew. We knew this man was senile when we put him in. And you, in a democracy, you get the government you deserve. There's no way around that. And at the same time, Donald Trump met and gave promises and fulfilled them in oodles. And he got thrown out. Did he get thrown out fair and square? Oh, if you watch the mainstream press and even the midstream press, they will tell you, yes, yes, he definitely lost fair and square and Trump and, 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 and Biden won fair and square. However, if you watch other sources like Tim Pool and the Lotus Eaters and Sargon of Akkad and things like that, where they look, they go to the court sources and look at the material. You have a very different point of view. Nonetheless, we have to deal with the mob that is presented to us. And the mob that's presented to us is taking over on January 20th with full vengeance. And if they don't change their ways, and why would they? They're just getting warmed up, baby. Council culture has gone through the roof. And again, they haven't even officially taken power yet. It's going to be very, very scary if you're on the right, if you'd like to eat. And 1984 is already coming true on the Sunday shows. If you watched Meet the Press last Sunday, Tim, Tim Russert, what? No, not Tim Russert. I miss Tim Russert. Uh, anyways, the new jokester that's on there. He was, he was talking about how so many of the Capitol Hill people are being turned in by their family and friends. Wow, thank you, 1984. Thank you very much by their children and their family and their friends. Orwell knew what he was doing. It wasn't hard. It was happening in his time, too. That's the way those dystopian novels work. They always extrapolate from what's currently happening. So it's not really predicting when it's happening now. There you go. All right, so that's why people hate Donald Trump. 
And will he run in 2024 and will he win? Don't know. But whoever runs, if they don't convince the people that they have a spine and that you can bop them and they'll come right back up like Donald Trump, then no, it's his. It's his baby. And what if the Dems still hate him? Well, I don't know. Because Obama gave us the worst economy since FDR, which was no surprise to anyone who's like, well, he followed the same steps that FDR did. Why wouldn't he have the same stupid results? Except as somebody much older than me used to say all the time, who did grow up with a segment of FDR's tenure, he said, yes, but FDR has results from the WPA. You can actually see the buildings. You can see the constructed dams. You can see the artwork. There's nothing at all to see from the oodles of dollars that was spent from Obama. There's nothing. Nothing. Uh Uh-uh. We got stimulated and there was nothing left after the party. Now, can you say that with Trump and the oodles he spent? No, because he did Operation Warp Speed. He got the vaccine done. Now, where it goes from there is up to the next guy. But, excuse me, next girl. And, but he got it done. And he got it done in unbelievable record time. Different sources say different things. One say the fastest speed for a cure for a virus is, not cure, uh, uh, protection. You can't cure a virus. Uh, is four years. And then another one said two. So regardless, he did it in, in eight and a half months. So yeah, baby. There you go. And uh, so we'll see if the speed bumps win and America continues to lose or not. And I did think it was interesting also that on Meet the Press, he was talking about how there's tons of exuberance on Joe Biden's side. I'm like, for what? Did you miss the Obama years? Did you miss all of that insane chicanery of cash for clunkers that took new cars and destroyed them? Oh, they weren't new. Oh, yes, they were. They, it's as recent as three years old, man. People hadn't even finished paying them off yet. And he's crunch, 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 because you weren't allowed to recycle them. Yes, that's right. The party that believes in recycling, wink, wink, didn't recycle. They munch, munch, munch on purpose, you, or you wouldn't get the money. And the party that gave us the first ever fine slash tax, depending on who you're talking to, for not going on welfare. Yeah, that's who's coming back. The party that gave us the worst economic engine since... FDR is coming back, baby. And the people that give us the, the oh gosh, the 9-11 in, in, in the Middle East with all the, all the Secret Service people killed and Benghazi. Yeah, there it is again. The people that give us Benghazi and didn't even protect his own friend who was the ambassador. Wow. They're back, baby. They're back. The people that give us drone strikes on American citizens overseas is back. The people that give us ISIS, they're back, baby, and with a vengeance. Oh, what else did they do? They give us ISIS. They give us Benghazi. Oh, they give us trading. They give us trading some of their worst people for some of our worst people. We traded their best soldiers and generals for freaking traitors who never, ever, ever got punished. That dude never, ever got punished. And think of how many people were killed looking for him. Yeah, that's who's back, baby. So why are they excited? I don't know. I don't know. You can only give so much credit to low-information voters. You really can, because as an adult, you have the responsibility to know something of what's going on before you actually pull the lever and vote. But if you don't, you get what you get. And in a democracy, you get the government you deserve. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the future.